Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to look at Flutter Alerts with rflutter underscore alert. This is an alert library that makes it a little bit easier to work with dialogues. So to get started, head over to your pubspec.yaml and simply add the rflutter underscore alert package. Add this to your dependencies and by leaving the version number off, it'll get the latest version. That's fine for our demo. And after you've done that, simply head to min.dart. And as you can see here, we have this my app, which extends a stateless widget. And then our homepage is this homepage widget. I have a flat button with the text of click me. And on this on pressed here, we're going to return an alert. So when the user presses this, we want to return alert and that comes from the package. So we will need to import that with command dot and the alert itself has a couple of required things such as the context. So let's give that the context of context and the title, which will simply say our flutter alert. After that, we need to say dot show and that will show the alert. So now when we click the click me button, we should see this R Flutter alert box. We can do other things by, for example, adding a description. So this is a description. And when we save that and cancel the alert and click it once more, we should see this is a description. So it's quite easy to show a dialog box. We can also at the same time give a particular button. So as well as this, let's add a buttons. And this is an array here, in which we can add a dialog button. And that dialog button has a couple of required things such as child, so we'll add that. And on pressed. We'll leave on pressed blank for now. But the child will be a text and I'll say my button. Let's now cancel and click again. Now we can see we have my button instead of cancel. You'll notice now if we click the my button, nothing happens. And that usually would have been something called navigator dot pop and we'll pass it the context. So that will remove this widget from the view. So we'll click my button. And now you can see it disappears. We can't do multiple buttons. We aren't limited to simply one. For example, we can just copy this. And now if we take a look, we should be able to see multiple buttons. What if, for example, we wanted to add a text field? Well, we certainly could do that. So we'll remove the buttons for now and we'll add something called content. Inside the content, we could have a column with some children and we could even wrap that inside of a form. Inside the column, we might have a text form field. We'd give that the decoration of input decoration. We'll give it the label text, perhaps of a username. This would represent a username and password. So we'll simply copy that down there. This time we'll say username and password. If we click the button, we can see we have the off letter alert. This is the description. We now have a username and a password field. You could go ahead and give these things an initial value. You could bind these up to the form itself and create a model and so on. This is essentially what you do in order to create a sort of login dialog box. So that's how we can use our Flutter Alert. I hope you found it useful. If you have and you want me to review any other dependencies, let me know inside of the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in my next video.